Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Hi everybody, it's Justin from On Tabletop. I'm joined by Jerry, and today we have one from Battle Systems. Yes. This is one of my top games. Top game? Top, top game? Top, top game. Top, top, top game. I, I looked at it when it was uh, in production or pre-production, but I yeah. haven't seen the production version. Yeah, this is the, the final production copy. Yeah. It is Core Space, the sci-fi miniatures game. This is one of the best cooperative storytelling games you will find. Give high praise, high praise. Give it here. Well, I mean, like we, we've had a look at things that give you that sort of firefly feel before. Yeah. This one goes to the nth degree. So the artwork to start with for this game is Gorgeous. Mm. I love the style. I love the idea. And you see all these robot guys on the front? Yep. They're the bad guys. Are they? Because yeah. if anybody's been paying attention to Netflix, yeah. uh, Love, Love, Death and Robots yeah. has just come out, and there's one episode called Three Robots, and one of them's that. Just really? Just that. Really? Yeah, it's well <laughs> worth watching if you're over 18. <laughs> all right. The first thing you get in the box I quite like is your game Ooh. board is a nice neoprene mat. Neoprene mat. mat. And this is great because this is what you're going to build yeah. your space station or your sci-fi shopping center onto. That's lovely quality. It really is. I mean, like just the, the actual resolution. Let me actually yeah. get a close up for everybody. The detail and resolution. I mean, like right down to like little stains and stuff between some of the areas, making mm. it look beat down and worn, is really really lovely. Missing tiles, that sort of thing. Exactly, and then just little bits of scrap and stuff, cabling running out all over the place. Let's drill down into it. So, first thing we come to is some of our main gaming components. Mm -hmm. So, I will move our box out of the way. And, as you can see, this is brand new, so we haven't opened it up. Do you want to get the other side there for me, Jerry? I don't, don't know if I should. Right. So, first thing we come to is this. So, this is a threat tracker. Mm -hmm. So, during the game, the game has a built-in AI that the more shitty-shitty bang-bang you do, yes. the more the game's going to punish you for it. All right, well, that's good. Yeah, so you make loud noises and stuff, those robots are going to start rolling in faster and faster and faster to try and rip your face off. Nice. As, as robots are wont to do, this yep. is why we must fear the singularity. Yeah. These mm -hmm. are your character boards. And the way they're designed is, so this is the correct way up. You've got your character board is going to slot in here. Yep. You've got an ability board that's going to slot in here. Mm -hmm. Or no, sorry, it slots in here. And this is like a little backpack. Right. So you're going to be running around searching through containers and cargo crates and putting stuff into here. you then got here that marks your health, your ammunition, and sort of like feet points if you're going to do right. something whizzy and special from that specials board that you're going to put in. And you can completely customize your characters through that. Happy days. You then come to the cards. And these. Cards and those. And these. So, the cards, this is your event deck. So mm -hmm. as you're playing through the game, every round you're going to flip a card and depending on what the threat level is, something kind of bad, sort of bad, maybe bad, and right. super bad is going to happen. Yeah. So it's, it's got a, a real ramping up of things happening. Nice to see. Yeah. The dice for the game do have custom faces, but they are super simple to read. So you have the blue dice that you will always roll on an attack. Mm -hmm. So it's like a 50-50. And then you've got red dice, which are a little bit less of a chance. Mm -hmm. And then you've got these symbols, the exclamations. If you ever roll two of these on a shit and attack, You've essentially broke your gun. Oh dear, gun explode. Yeah. You then have this to determine whether or not the robots are coming in. So you could get maybe one robot, two robot, no robot, things like that. No robot is good. Yeah. You no then robot. have this. This is actually part of the AI dice. So if you roll this, you get a live one coming in, which is right. the big bad. And if you roll some of the other different faces, it will make you do different things. So maybe a civilian will join your crew, you know, civilians will move. So it sort of controls the NPCs right. of the game. That's interesting, though. Super, super simple. Yeah. And those, I noticed, those are the new clips for the yes. actual... These are redesigned that call it on the guys. Did. Yeah. So if you remember the old ones, they were just a bit of flat, punched-out plastic. Yeah, yeah. so it was essentially the same stuff that the actual train was made of itself. It just... Well, it, it was still plastic. It was still plastic. It was still plastic, but it was a flat, punched-out bit. Yeah. This is now cast pieces, and you can see that little bit of a ridge on there, which actually just makes them... A lot stronger. Yeah. If I, hard as I can, can't yeah. break it. If I did that to one of the old ones, it would Snap fold in half. two. Yeah. We then come to our miniatures. And okay. They come in 
their very own lovely little box with some nice artwork. So, pull them out. And the first thing you'll notice is, so we've got some blank spaces in here. Mm -hmm. This is just extra storage for some of your tokens and stuff. Well, that's handy. You've got base inserts to mark out your two different crews because your crews aren't sort of preset. You could actually mix and match all the crew here. Oh, that's so handy. from the grey ones. Yeah. So you can tell who's, who's working for who. Mm -hmm. You've got your blue ones here. These are your civilians, but they can become members of the crew as you're playing through campaigns. And then you have all of the different uh, bad guys. So you've got assassins, you've got destroyers, you've got the live one, the big bad. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really high-end laid out. I like the fact that they've went for coloured plastic just to make it instantly yeah. readable for someone that's not going to paint this. Yeah, it's handy as a board gaming piece whenever they do things like that, that you can just pop it out of the box and start playing yeah. almost immediately. Yeah. You then get these. Now, do not throw these out because you would look at these and think, oh, that's just some extra white cardboard in there. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's actually designed to all slot together so that whenever you're done, this goes into your box and becomes storage for all of your towels. And you get a really nice big pack of towels in here. So you've got all your different tokens and stuff, your different mm -hmm. character sheets that you're going to need to play. And you've got your ship cards as well. And then you've got all of the different sort of areas that you're going to be building your walls into. Yeah. And they have added one thing that makes me super happy. So I got to play... Toilets? No. They have. Oh, yes. They have toilets. There you go. See? Happy now. But one thing they added to the actual mechanics of the game, whenever we were playing in like the, the early stages, yeah. the beta and the alpha, I said I would love to be able to dive through a window, or a window John Woo style. Yeah. You know, and they've added it in, but it can go horribly wrong. Right. You could literally fall over and knock yourself out. That's funny. So, so you mean throwing yourself into some sort of perspex-like plate in the future might not automatically shatter? Might not be a good idea. Might not yeah. be a good idea. <laughs> uh, that's a terrible shame. We all would hate to see that. <laughs> uh, well, we do have some Let's Plays in the can. I'm not sure if we sent them out or not yet. But if you're watching them, you, yeah, you may see me trying to dive through a window. And you may see Ryan trying to dive through a window. And you may see me grenading Ryan to within an inch of his life. All right. Because Spoilers. also on this... <laughs> you get all of the different items yeah. as well and these I absolutely adore because there's little crates you build for the train as well mm. and you load them out with all the different types of weapons and the weapons are really nice because you've got like big laser guns small pistols and then all points in between for like med packs character cards ah, and this is what I was talking about so you see the way we've got uh, back here mm -hmm. if you flip him over he's a loser he also Baby. has a civilian side. All right. So depending on who you pick, any of your crew could be civilians or could be crew. And then you have the different roles, so hunter, crewman, soldiers, things like that. Mm -hmm. And they all get different abilities. So it's, it's a little bit weary, but once you get into it, it's really good. You then got onto your terrain stuff, and this has went from that nice shiny card yeah. to a nice matte finish. So these are some of the crates you're going to build together. You've got some tables here. You've got some medical-based stuff. And then we're on to like walls and things. Yeah. So you do get a fair chunk of terrain yeah, in this. Train in it. Last thing, um, I quite like how heavy this is, is the rule book. Now it's, it's a good thick rule book. Yep. How many pages? 105 pages of a rule book. Right. And again, it's chock full of story for the first bit, all the different stuff you're going to need to know. And then we get on to the back where it's giving you different mission layouts, so it's actually taking you through. You can make it, this exact board from what's in this box. From what's box. in the box. That's so always good. They've not done anything where you need to buy extra packs of terrain. Yeah. But if you buy any of the other Battle Systems terrain, it's all compatible. All the characters have their own little bio page. Uh -huh. at, at what point did uh, Leo leave Mythic Games to become the crew of the Black Maria? <laughs> that is, yeah, that is kind of Leo. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> That must have been a hell of a Kickstarter to fund that ship. <laughs> uh, we then got references for all the skills. So all that symbology that you're seeing on the yes. crew cards, it's all very quickly explained. So mm -hmm. if you've got, say, weapons expert level three, you've also got two and one as well. Right. So you'll get some passive abilities, and you can pick what you want to do. So it all, it all stacks up. Yes. And then it's, it's that whole thing of you'll be playing mission after mission with these, mm. and your crew will grow and evolve and change. And then you've got like little breakdowns for some of the, the equipment here if you're not exactly sure what it does. Yeah. And then on the back you've got a nice breakdown of just 
a cheat sheet. And, and how the AI activates. Yes, which is nice. and the NPC AI yeah. action chart, which is really handy. It really is a common sense game when it comes to the AI, though, because you'll discuss with your opponent, well, you know, the the civilian can't really move that way because there's there's one of the bad guys there, so what way would he move to be the closest to that? Yeah. So it's, it's very nice and narrative that way. I've seen myself play games where I've actually bartered with my opponent to hitchhike out on their ship because the board right. has got so chalk I can't get back to my own shuttle. Oh dear, yeah. that would be terrible. It was terrible until I sh tried to shoot like a, a piece of extra kit out of the, the other crew's hand and nab it for myself just as we were jumping on board. <laughs> that is shocking. <laughs> and, and you thought they were still going to give you lift after that oh, and no, not just space you? They did. They I, did. I would have spaced you immediately. Oh, man. What, right into the airlock? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, one of the other keys to this game is see your ships as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you actually, between missions, have to repair them and keep them functioning. So, like your propulsion, your life support, your supplies, your hull integrity, these are all going to start to degrade and get worse. Yeah. And then you can actually start leveling up some extra abilities. So you get like a bubble from your ship where you'll get like maybe turrets or you'll be able to move your ship around on the board to actually dock at another point and along the edge. Well, that's so you handy. Can get out a little bit yeah. easier. So it's a really, really narrative game. It's a bit of work to get into, but once you do, very yeah. worth it. Sweet. Yeah. What do you think? I'm very interested. I'm very excited about it and where it can go as well. Mm. Because I'm a big fan of, well, science fiction is always good, clean family fun. Yes. Um, and the, the fact that you can build your crew mm -hmm. and develop them is, is good. Yeah. Is there something like a underdog system? So if you're going up against a crew that isn't as well developed? Uh, I think there is. But the, the way the game works, you're not instantly rocking into an area to start shooting at each other. You'll be going in. You say that. Well, the games I've played, I haven't played against you, Yeah. but the, the games I've played, we've went in and the initial thing is, okay, let's start searching the rooms, let's mm. start searching the crates, let's see if there's anything nice, nice goodies that we can take home with us. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, Jerry, you, you just got the main objective, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, son, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to shoot you right now. Yeah, see... Uh, you know, it's uh, got that nice tipping point. Uh, you say there's a tipping point, I say the minute you go in to salvage something and there's another crew already there... Right. That's when the guns start coming out. <laughs> oh, I have to play against this man just to see how you know, this game would go. Yeah. But it, it's, it's nice to see that there is that, that social contract between the two players just to see how you're going to work and play against each other. I mean, if, if you did come in just guns blazing, yep. you know, I, I might not want to help you in the future. I mean, like, there that's, are actually, that's fine. There are also things in there. Say you are the underdog in a campaign. Yep. You can actually go off and play a solo mission right. without your opponent to get yourself some maybe extra guns, extra credits, extra experience for your crews. Interesting. So you can actually start bringing yourself up without having to bring your opponent in and say, look, I'm feeling like I'm the underdog here. Can I have some extra stuff, please? You can actually narratively go in and earn your extra stuff. You'd have to work with a trusting bunch. <laughs> go, oh, no, I played some solo missions and now I've caught up on you. Oh, in fact, some of my people are better. I've got a laser cannon. Yay! <laughs> Again, it's, it's not exactly a very competitive game. No. You know, so I'd, I'd say you, you could have some fun with it. So yeah. long as someone's not being absolutely ridiculous, going yeah. away saying, look, I was the underdog. Oh, by the way, now I am God on the table. Mm. You're not going to have that because that, that's not fun. Anyway, I love the game. If you've got a chance to check this out, definitely do it. And if you're going to salute this year, make sure and check the guys out because mm. I do believe they have a stand there, if I remember correctly. One, no. Uh, it's UK Games Expo. UK Games S Expo and Eschen Spiel. Yes. Yes. But n not at salute. Not at salute. Sorry for that, everybody. Anyway, uh, drop your comments down below. Tell us what you think of this game. What do you think of battle systems in general? Because you can use any of the terrain with it. We actually yeah. played an outside game of this. Seen that. We took some of the outside terrain and played mm -hmm. with it. Anyway, we'll move on. I've yammered enough. We'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.